Time to liven up the joint. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So today's video, we got this big box from McFarland Toys. I believe they sent me the right box this time. Because we are unboxing the new Dark Knight Trilogy boxes. So let's go ahead and open this bad boy up. <clears throat> it's some figures that I've been waiting for since they first showed it back. I believe that was San Diego Comic Con last year. When they teased the concept art for it. And I was like, oh my god. Freaking amazing. This is how McFarlane's toys decided to ship it. Um, so, obviously it comes with the builder figure of Bane. So first off is Scarecrow. He's probably my least favorite in this whole line. He could have been a little bit better, um, to be honest with you. Um, we definitely seen better figures of him before. <clears throat> At least from the Dark Knight movie. Batman, Christian Bell. By the way, guys, I'm really sick. I don't know if you guys can tell by my voice, but I'm super sick. So I apologize if my voice don't sound too uh, thrilling to hear. But anyways, this is the Batman. Christian Bale's Batman. So I've seen pictures of him on Instagram. He looks just freaking awesome as well. By the way, the Build-A-Figure shows it. Um, but um, yeah, I mean, I mean, you know, he definitely got better. Actually, shows the figures that are in the wave and those little posters. Wait, what? Okay, um, <laughs> okay, we got Heath Ledger's Joker. There's a figure in there I just saw that I was that the me say what, but anyways, he comes with the stack money, so I didn't know that he was coming with that. He comes with different, oh no, these might be different hands for Bane, actually. But, yeah, this is the Heath Ledger Joker. I gotta take a closer look at the head <clears throat> in person. So there's that. And then, we got, last but not least, Harvey Dent's um, Two-Face. So, pretty, pretty cool. Um, the last figure in the uh, Builder figure to get. Um, so there's that. Now, this is pretty crazy so huh. so we got a message dear McFarland toy store customer I wear occasions we tend to come across toys that have lost the battle on their journey to our warehouse it could be slightly damaged or a dent in packaging as a token of our appreciation we have included an extra toy in your order from our collection of damaged packaged toys. These are ran chosen at random and placed in your box. The packaging is bent, crushed, or dented. Um, however, the item is new. If you are already an out-of-box collector, this should fit in your collection. If you are normally an in-box collector, this is your chance to let a toy breathe and experience the one-of-a-kind smell of a freshly opened new toy. Enjoy getting your hands on this free gift. We sincerely appreciate your support. Thank you for choosing McFarlane Toy Story. So that's freaking awesome that they included it. Now, it's an action figure we already had um, before, but it is the bus. Um, if they would have sent a Jack Sparrow, I would have been happier. Um, but, <clears throat> yeah, it's just a bus. It's an extra action figure. Hey, I'm not mad at it. Um, I have him already. I have unboxed him on the channel before, so I have that unboxing. But that's freaking awesome. First time I ever received uh, one of these before you guys want to pause it and read it yourself. You can. So, thank you, McFarland Toys. You guys probably know I'm a really good customer. <laughs> uh, so, I'm going to take it more as like, hey, we know this guy. Let's send him an action figure. That's how I'm going to take it. <laughs> um, but anyways, uh, I wonder why. What they said was the box was damaged. I wonder. Huh. They're saying the box that was damaged, but I don't really see it. Anyways, it doesn't really matter. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and get straight to this unboxing. I want to see if you guys can leave a like. If you guys haven't already, and please subscribe if you guys haven't already. I appreciate every single person who does. 
Uh, you guys are freaking awesome. We're well on our way to 400 subscribers, but I need you to help. Uh, I need you guys' help to help me get there. Um, and don't forget to hit that bell so you don't miss more unboxing, just like the Dark Knight uh, wave. And we're about to unbox the Builder figure with Bane. Yes. So let's go ahead and get straight to this unboxing. Okay, guys, so here is Scarecrow when you take him out of packaging and uh, up close, like on the camera. I mean, he looks pretty awesome. The head looks a little bit crazy, uh, just like the um, the noose around his head is actually pretty terrifying. Um, you know, he has like the long, crazy um, cloth going all the way around. That's insane. And then here is kind of like how the bottom looks as well so yeah this figure looks freaking terrifying you know like if you saw this guy in in the dark alley you're pretty much absolutely running the other way screaming for your life <clears throat> i'm gonna be honest with you but yeah guys uh he looks freaking awesome now you know he was in the first movie and you know i mean the first movie wasn't really the best um you know people like it um, me personally, um, actually, I would have preferred a uh, Raza Gu. That would have been freaking awesome. But um, yeah, I, I mean, me personally, I, 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 you know, I liked the, the obviously the second one better. But um, you know, uh, Scarecrow really did wreck havoc in the first one. So <clears throat> sorry about my voice, guys. I'm trying my best here. But anyways, um, yeah, he's freaking awesome. So now let's go ahead and check out. Um, I, I'm not gonna show it off each and every builder uh, figure piece just yet, um, but we are gonna show it off towards the end. So we'll take a look, closer look at that Tom Hardy Bane. <clears throat> so let's go ahead and look at Two Face next. Okay, guys. So will you take out Harvey Dent, aka Two Face, out of packaging? This is what he looks like, and overall, I think this one looks pretty good. I love the normal head, the crazy head, uh, or the, the the burnt head face looks absolutely freaking crazy. Love that he comes with a coin hand, and then he has a trigger finger hand, which is necessary for this figure. Um, and, uh, you know, we got that accessory pack so we can find a little revolver for him. So that would be freaking awesome to include. Um, I never really understood, like, the burnt jacket as well. Um, that matches it, so there's that. But yeah, I mean, it's just a normal body as well. And then this is kind of like how the bottom feet look as well. But yeah, he just looks freaking awesome. Let's just get a closer look on his head. Um, that, like, look at that. That head sculpt is actually crazy. Yeah, it could be better. I think Sub Toys did a good job on theirs. Um, but yeah, this one um, looks just as good, especially for the price that he's at right now. Um, the burnt head is absolutely insane. I always loved like the um, two faces, like you know, crazy like look, and then the eyes, the eyeball just popping out like that's freaking crazy to me. <clears throat> but yeah, this is basically two faces as well, so freaking awesome. But now let's go ahead and look at Christian Bale's Batman, and we'll save Heath Ledger's Joker for last. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, guys. So here is Christian Bale's Batman. He looks absolutely freaking badass. It definitely looks like him underneath the cow. Um, just like the always love um, Christian Bale's like bat suit as well. Um, you know, even though I know, you know, these are like more grounded. These were always grounded movies. Um, I would have just loved to see like Christian Bale go up against like the supernatural. Um, we never really got those, you know, we basically got like Ben Affleck, which is, wasn't, you know, isn't bad either, but like, I would definitely love to see Bale, um, you know, face off against him because a lot of people consider Bale like one of their favorite Batmans as well. Um, he's not my favorite. My favorite has to be Keaton for sure, but, um, I mean, you can't deny how, like how awesome he looks as well, but. Yeah, this is basically how it looks. The cape as well. Then the suit. Um, and then here's like an up close on him. 
he just looks freaking amazing. He does come with some accessories, one of the few figures in this um, lineup that comes with some accessories. So we can take a look at that. He does come with a trigger figure, but that makes sense for the accessories he has, as well as a closed fist, um, which kind of doesn't make sense because he doesn't come with a um, accessory for that. So you're going to have to pick and choose what you're going to use for Dale. But let's just take a closer look at that. Okay, guys, so here is one of the accessories he comes with. It's basically like his grapple gun, which is all gold. I'm not really the hugest fan of this weapon, to be honest with you. I mean, it looks cool, but it's not really anything too crazy. Um, but, you know, probably a weapon I'm really not going to use anyways. Um, so, just wanted to show it off. Let's look at the weapon I probably am going to use, which is his battle ring. So, we'll take a closer look at that. Okay, guys, so here is the battle ring that he uses. Um, this one is all gold as well. You know, it has the bad logo imprinted on it, which is pretty cool. He does come with three of them. They're all pretty much the same anyways. It's not really nothing different from all of them. So we're just going to show this one. But, um, yeah, I mean, it, you know, I'll probably use this one because it would be Batman <clears throat> without a battle ring. So... There's that. Now let's go ahead and show off the last and final figure of this unboxing. Well, not the the final figure from the main um, series. I mean, we'll show off the build a figure last, which is Bane. But um, yeah, let's go ahead and show off Heath Leather Ledger's Joker. Okay, guys. So when you take out Heath Ledger's Joker out of packaging, this. This is what he looks like, and um, he looks freaking awesome, if you ask me. <clears throat> um, he does come with a trigger hand and a closed fist. Unfortunately, he doesn't come with any other hand. I would have preferred, like, an action pose hand. So, like, you know, him sticking up his finger or, you know, a knife hand. That would have been freaking awesome. Um, you know, some other accessories that come with it. You know, so you could do the, <clears throat> the, wow, so serious, you know, so that would have been freaking awesome. But, you know, I mean, as far as his whole look, they definitely, they definitely nail his whole design. And then the leaf hedges, the head sculpt. I mean, that looks freaking awesome, guys. <clears throat> and especially for the price range that he's at. Um, you know, this one is, is, is just freaking amazing. But anyways, um, yeah, everything else looks freaking great. Um. We definitely got some some um, some machine guns we can use for him um, because you know he uses that in the movie, and then we'll take a look at the last and final accessory for this video. So let's go ahead and show that off. Okay, guys. So the last and final accessory is this cool money stack or whatever. Uh, it would have been cool if they would have added like um, flame effects to go with it as well. So um, I do have extra like flame effects I could use. To make it look like the the money's burning as well. But that is a pretty cool accessory pack for um, <clears throat> for this. And so unfortunately, he doesn't come with guns. Um, you know, so I think that, like, you know, I'm not sure how long ago these figures were planned. But maybe the DC ban <clears throat> is still in effect. Um, so there's that. But anyways, now let's go ahead and build the last and final figure in this video that will wrap this bad boy up okay guys so when you take bane and finally build him uh the build a figure this is what he looks like now the head is was giving me some issues um you know the the peg is a little bit bended right here um you guys can kind of see it um yeah so he's not going in all the way unfortunately and i don't want to keep uh trying to force it in because you know it might snap it might break um, so that's going to piss me off as well. And then um, these are the hands that he comes with as well. I mean, he has a lot of set of hands, so you could get your favorite piece out of it. Um, that's what you like. And then the legs, you know, the legs aren't really the best either. They're not really that durable. Uh, kind of like the Batrocities where the legs just snap in perfectly and don't really fall apart. Um, these ones are kind of falling apart. Um, you know, the, the more you bend it, the more they're just gonna just fall up, you know, apart. Um, that's the problem with builder figures, you know, they're not the really the most flexible ones, so there is that. But other than that, 
and Bane looks freaking awesome. Now, the third movie wasn't really the best, in my opinion. A lot of people are really controversial over this Bane, to be honest with you. But me, personally, I think he just looks... I mean, he looks awesome. I would I, I, I would expect the arms, the, the arms to be a little bit bigger um, because, I mean, he is Bane. Um, and he, in, in the movie, Bane was pretty stocked as well. So, um, other than that, I mean, he just looks freaking awesome. Um always love like the face mask they use for him um and then the way they talk i can't do the voice obviously because you guys can tell from my voice but normally i could do the voice but anyways guys that is pretty much it when it comes down to this whole way let's go ahead and uh, wrap this bad boy up okay guys so that's pretty much it as i look at you guys today hope you guys enjoyed this if you guys did enjoy this please consider liking and subscribing help the channel out dramatic easy more to make, keep doing more unboxings just like this one. So by the time this video comes out, I believe the Winter Showcase probably has already been announced. And, um, you know, some figures were probably already shown out. So this video will probably go on a little bit after that or probably depends how long. I forgot how many days for the Winter Showcase. Um, but, yeah, these figures are awesome. I highly recommend picking them up. You might have some issues with that Bane. Um, I could just tell immediately right off the bat. Um, so... Or is that? I mean, he's not really bad, but he's definitely not the greatest as well. I apologize about my voice. You know, some people could be like, well, you could have waited to do that a little bit better. But I didn't feel like waiting. You know, I want to do him now, even though, you know, it's taking, <clears throat> you know, it's taking apart some of the video. So I apologize about that. Anyways, guys, um, you guys have a wonderful, amazing day. Hopefully you guys got the figures that you guys really wanted as well. Uh, always stay tuned for more unboxings coming on the channel because you already know there's going to be a lot uh, still more to come. But anyways, guys, you guys have a wonderful, amazing day. I'll see you guys. They don't call me the main man for nothing. <laughs>